Hey everybody, I'm APH and welcome back to Clan Folk, an absolutely amazing little rimworld esque Highlands of Scotland game. I gotta tell you, I absolutely love and adore this. Now, between episodes, the developer made a comment about a bug that I kind of saw. So, going back and looking at my footage, I found out the bug wasn't in the game, the bug was with me. To get started, I recorded 15 minutes of the tutorial. I was like, all right, I want to see how it looks in, in the actual editing software. We want to see how the game plays out. want to see if I'm having any lost frames. I edited the video completely. And then I was like, all right, I don't like the way that the tutorial goes to my play style. As well as I don't typically record sound. So I enabled those options in OBS and turned off the, the tutorial in the game, which is in the options. It's something that I prefer. And then I went back and recorded the, the episode and went and edited that and published it. A day went by in my brain when I went to record the next episode was like, dude, you covered this. And the answer is, no, I didn't. No, I did not. I recorded it in an episode that I didn't actually keep. Uh, but part of the skills is, one, I wanted to verify it logging on. And sure enough, they are still axed. So that is not a bug. Said something with me. My brain's a little messed up. I'll admit it. Uh, something happened kind of in my past won't go into that now but nonetheless I have an issue it's kind of why I speak a little funny um but why we're in here we have some pluses and I think these will actually really affect our people min maxing so like old girl Darlene likes to hunt I'm thinking moving this up to the top so that she hunts is pretty important I'm I'm so kind of going through like medical may not be an issue right now and repair might not but be, but gathering, Eric is really good at gathering. Let's move that up to the top. And it looks like some of the rest of these really aren't real high. We look at harvesting and we've got some sad faces. And Jason and Stacy are actually the highest. Let's move them up for gathering for right now. Kind of keep an eye on that. Not necessarily that we want them to do that, but just keep it up there because they're the highest. Now hunting, again, we already moved our lean. It looks like Christy and Jason also take advantage from it. Let's move Jason to the top because he gets a double bonus. Um, so let's move him up. And there we go. Let's get, go ahead and move that up to the top. That way those two should be our hunters moving forward for Lumberjack. Let's uh, X this is apparently he doesn't like it. Probably missed that. And nobody, uh, Judy likes to chop wood. So let's move Judy up. We'll put it number two and we'll put Christy probably right around where our building is right now. It's probably beneficial now mining. Eric has a smiley face so let's move him up right beneath gathering looks like Stacy also and so does Christy I'm thinking with Christy she gets the kid brain bonus let's go ahead and move her up to the top and have her be our miner you know if we need something quick we can use two and it should then prompt Christy and Eric to to mine is what I'm thinking these priorities do building Jason likes to, and we have some building to do, so let's move him kind of right above medical. Looks like he's level five. I don't know what the little dash there is. Maybe that's the symbol of a hammer smacking. And it looks like Judy is also real high. Let's go ahead and move that up to replace medical. Cooking, I don't think is too important right now. Nobody really cares for cooking. So we'll leave it as is farming again. Eric loves to farm, and so does Judy, and so does Stacy. Actually, it looks like these three all do. Uh, Stacy's already an, a nine. Let's move him up to right near the top, and let's move Eric above medical. I think that's a wise decision. Now, crafting. Nobody is, like, amazing with it, but what I'm thinking is... Well, if they're going to be tied up with mining, maybe we move crafting up a little for him. 
I don't think clothes are an issue right now. And let's go to, as we haven't unlocked any actual clothes, we've unlocked a sack, and I'm not sure what to do with that. And hauling. Looks like all of these are pretty low, with the exception of Christy actually likes doing it. Let's move that up right underneath the tree cutting. And let's move some of these up as well, because we want things being moved. Probably something about like this, and maybe this above the actual medical. And let's move the actual disabled ones kind of down to the bottom. Just as kind of signifying, hey, we want those kind of marked off. I think that's kind of the best way of doing it. We're not going to go over all of them right now, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. Getting going, we put, I believe, yeah, half of this. And what we want to do is put the other half. And I'm really thinking going forward, once this is finished, we're going to use brick to actually build a place. And then put a stone roof on it as looking at the tool tip for hay. It says highly flammable, so I don't want to put a flame source underneath it. But looking at stone roof, even though it's got logs in there, it's actually got a flammability of none. Now, I don't know what the roof span is. So it might be how far it spans before it loses structural stability. So if that's the case, this spans three, which probably means it will span to the center would be kind of my my assumption. But it the span is two for this. It means that stone would stop here, which would mean we would need a, a support here, which is something I want to do over here is put a a roof so it kind of protects this this actual food spot and makes it so that during the rain we can we can kind of have that but if that's the case we're gonna have to move something here as if we place something here it would only go to right here and you know if we placed them in the corner again one two it would it would stop there and wouldn't actually cover the center something that i'm gonna have to look at Let's go ahead and queue up another brick as it says we need 25 more. And something that I looked at was if if we do hunting and they bring in meat and we want to cook it, which is spoiler. I did look ahead just a little bit to kind of see um, this actual setting up a repeat queue like this. If we don't have the eel, but we have something that we place behind it. One, it's going to try to repeat all of it. The other is it won't move the one ahead. So let's go ahead and DQ those and let's go ahead and set this as an auto supply of 10. I think that's the way to do this. And then we'll move the priority once we un unpause. We'll move the priority up because, well, food good. I think we all kind of can agree food good. Um now we are building a smithy and I'm at least with the fire, I'm seeing sparks fly everywhere. So what I'm thinking for this right here is um, the forge, not the not the smithy. We're building a, a, a forge and I know it says it's a bloomery, but from where I'm at in the world um, and all of the, you know, my industrial, I've got an industrial arts background and then I've got all of my gaming, it's called the forge, so I'm just going to call it a forge. Flat out and simply what it is. Let's go ahead and clear out everything from this area that might catch on fire. Yeah, I want to get that stump. Oh, look at that. Um, okay, let's not clear out the stump and I'll show you what I just saw. So, hovering my mouse here, I'm seeing that it's going to clear out my berries. So let's not clear that out. And then we'll manually uh, add that one in. So be careful, guys. You don't want to accidentally uh, clear out your your freshly planted berries. Now, look at our inventory at food. We've got 104 berries. And looking at them over here, looks like their quality is getting low. So let's, um, let's go ahead and plant five more berries. I know they're not going to be done anytime soon, but kind of prepping for the future. Yeah, under bushes, under berries. There we go. Let's go ahead and queue those up. Now, I'm hoping I haven't queued up too much. It's one of those games where there's so much to do. I can't explain that like enough. There's just so much because, yo, know, early game in any survival, it's like, man, I got to I gotta rush to get things. I got to see the next cool thing. I mean, we know there's a an actual... Uh, forge, which means there's going to be some sort of metal in the game, which means 
it's going to be somewhere. And looking at the tooltips as we had a an option. Speaking of that, we need stone. So let's go ahead and cue the grab and some while we're over here. The actual mining tip when we were looking at it said that it's going to be a redstone. And looking at all of our mountains, I'm not seeing any redstone. So I'm thinking we have to make a mine first. So let's go ahead and start a mine right here and see if that burls into it. And if it doesn't, what we'll do is we'll go to one of these other little mountains and see. Because looking around the map, I am just not seeing any red anywhere on our actual our map. Unless I'm overlooking something, which I mean, that can happen. Missing 20 uh, large stones. Something that uh, we'll, we'll gather, hopefully, with the mining. Oh, we got some stones here as well. Let's go ahead and just gather those up. Now, looking at our other storage, it looks like we have some clay as well as we've got some on the shore here. Got a lot of gravel, and what we'll probably do is when we decide to block this in, I'm thinking we gravel. We have uh, an open, a pole barn where it's very open. And I'm thinking that's kind of the, the design that I want here is just like on the four corners, but I don't know if we can get a, enough structural support to maintain that. So we're going to see, but kind of that design where this is just real open for, you know, just an outdoor picnic area. This area is starting to clear and I'm thinking we should move this general storage. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and blow this up. Ooh, now when you look at the general storage, it has things like plaid as well as... Well, yeah, it has plaid. Okay. One of our people do have... is wearing plaid. I get that. I was going to say that might be a spoiler, but the honest truth is I think it was... Yeah, Eric is wearing a plaid. All right. For our storage, should be under... Objects? think no under stockpiles there we go let's go ahead and place yeah a general stockpile let's place it right here probably something like that and then we're just going to go ahead and we have uh bins for some different things let's go ahead and say no berries we want them in our actual food bin same with uh, the rest of the actual food we can store wood ash there we don't need to store the actual hay or flack. We'll store the straw for now. Let's not store the seeds. And the rest of this actually looks okay. Let's not store the clay, stone, or large stone, or logs as we have bins for them or branches. I think that's everything, guys. Don't count, uh, you know, don't hold me to it. And we unlocked an iron storage pile. Let's go ahead and set that there and let's go ahead and head over to Christy and let's not show the the roof let's set it to auto so that as we zoom out it actually autos but it looks like we have uh, hit into that actual uh, mine and what we can do while wow, we have a lot of uh, hayseed let's go to our jobs and let's cancel this so that we can mine just this area I don't know how much iron we actually need. What are we doing? Mine? There we go. Let's mine that and then hopefully that's enough. We still have a ton of berries. Hey guys, I need you to move the berries back closer to home, please. So we have food. Just saying, move it closer to home, please. So word of the wise, there's a lot to do in this game and apparently you're going to queue up a lot of stuff past what you can actually do. Now, looking at our tooltip on the actual uh, seeds, if I can get them selected here. Let's try this again. It says keep dry. So what I'm thinking for our food is let's go ahead and set up a stockpile right here for, well, anything that we probably need. In particular, we I don't care too much about the seeds right now, but moving the rest inside, I don't care about the water jug either. Probably... There is a tooltip on there that says in the winter it can freeze, so maybe we'll worry about that later. And let's go ahead and delete out this storage so everything moves over. 
should put gravel here, but want to finish some of these other tasks first. Let's go ahead and bomb everything in here. And let's bomb these couple of trees. Heh. <laughs> that is definitely a thing. For me, that is not the clear olive. It is the bomb. Yeah, it looks like the, the charcoal kiln. I don't see sparks flying from that. I, I don't remember if I saw sparks flying from the, the, the regular kiln. This, the bloomery, let's take a look at the actual tooltip for it. I think it's under options under crafting. Yeah, see the bloomery throws sparks. The kiln doesn't say it and the, the other kiln doesn't say it. So we've got to watch out for this because we don't want to start any fires. Hey, we've got our iron. Let's uh, let our guys bring over the iron before we start crafting it and let this area actually clear out. Probably should put some gravel under here and something that I kind of I saw but never actually tried it. You can actually store it for moving. So like right now, we can't actually do anything with that. So we can store that and check that out. It actually made a... a, a Clothing zone crate. Now it looks like we can store a crate. So in the future, we could be like, all right, we don't actually need the the work zone anymore. We could crate it up and put it away just to maintain. And we've got some steaming piles. Now I thought that we placed a dong pile. Maybe we need the actual manure basket to go pick up all these. Why are you playing with poop? Child. Go clean your hands. Go. Yeah, look, this area is nice and clear now. Now we just need to... Let's uh, go ahead and queue up. Now let's wait for the rope. I don't know if it's flammable. Low flammability on the flute. I don't see a... Uh, yeah, high flammability on the twine. Let's wait until these are moved to to actually start that. Yeah, high flammability. If the fire is any indication, I've seen it go two out. We'll expect this to kind of go two out as well. So once these are moved, we'll go ahead and queue up that. And hopefully by that point in time, they will have brought some actual uh, iron over. Just harvested wheat, unlocked wheat seeds. I don't know that we need to do that quite yet. Ah, look at that. Some more of our stone is built. Let's go ahead and I think it was under op or objects under personal. Let's get our next couple beds in. Then we can move two more of these inside. As I said, this is kind of short term because I do want to replace this eventually with this being storage in an actual brick house. Looking how cheap uh, brick building is think it was only like the floor is only five bricks and we get 25 from each uh each actual building speaking of that let's um let's build if we wanted a 10 by 10 it's it would be a hundred which would be 500 tiles let's queue up 20 tiles so that over the the period it could just uh, get what we need and we probably need to queue up more coal. Oh man, I can't believe I just did that. Let's queue up 20 coal. We probably need a second charcoal can, uh, kiln to be honest because I have a feeling that the the forge will need coal as well as the kiln will need it. So let's take a look under objects under crafting. So the bloomery, well, all right, we won't know until we actually finish it. Let's uh, let's get that charcoal kiln. We'll put it right here. Sarah's probably going to get pretty hot with all that. And look at that. We've, we're almost moving everything. Oh, let's uh, let's prioritize that. I can't believe I just did that. Now our sticks are up here. We should probably let's go ahead and. Yeah, let's create this one so we can move it down here with the rest of our storage. What we'll probably do is create, take out these trees once we've 
we've cleared a little bit more of this area. Look, more of it's coming together. So if we look at our inventory at ingredients, looks like we have five stones, which should get five sections of wall or five sections of a floor. So we probably need more. Maybe we have it queued up. I'm not sure. I'm a little curious there. All right. Iron is ready. Let's go ahead and queue up four. And take a look real quick and see if we have any any stones nearby. It looks like we got a couple there. Let's go ahead and grab them. Let's grab these. We'll just kind of grab them uh, as we come over this way. Yeah, we've got all the stone over here. I'm thinking it's time that we we chop away at this. And looking out, we see that this cave is actually a cave. I wonder if we can build inside there and have it sheltered from the actual environment. If that's a thing, we might want to, since it's already rock, place a an actual some of our flammable things in there. Let's grab the jobs and grab some of this mountainside. think that's the the right thing and let's go ahead and grab some more of this stone down here we could probably place a a gravel pathway because it looks like it increases speed by 25 percent so maybe we start building a walkway kind of over here just to maintain a little bit quicker i don't know that i want to queue up that much to be honest uh let's uh Let's queue up this section, and then once it's done, we'll look at queuing up the next, because we're already taking a lot of time here, and but it looks like our gravel is actually overflowing. That's my only thought behind that, is since we have it, we might as well use it type of thing. Excellent. This area is almost filled in the roof. Let's keep it on auto. Hopefully that means that they'll stay dry, and yeah, they're just walking through the wall. So we need to finish those walls today. Excellent. This area is clear. It looks like iron is queued up. There's our tile. Now, do we have an actual storage for tile? Nothing. Oh, a masonry pile. So I look at this and I see what looks like cut stone. But it says for cut... Uh, for cut blocks bricks and tile okay so it's going to be for blocks bricks and tile i'm thinking two of them one for brick and one for tile and then once we get to apparently chop block we'll reevaluate that this is it what what are you've got like a tool tip oh you're eating you're parched Go take a drink. Uh, base change minus five and sweating. Yeah, it's like 28 degrees Celsius. I mean, I that's that's warmer than my liking. I'm like a 15 degree type of person. That's uh, my preference. It's actually a little cooler than that right now. I think it's 11 degrees right now where I'm living. And at nights, it's dipping down into, I think it was six or seven last night and probably in the next week. We'll be seeing a little bit lower. It actually, has been affecting my voice quite a bit, where I've been feeling the raspiness of the fact that it's cooler. Baby is uh, apparently makes sense, probably wearing a diaper. Has to actually go to, um, you know, somebody to get changed. Now, environment, local area. So it's getting a big minus from from something which eh, I could see it I mean I know that there was some steaming piles around up here which is why we built the the actual um not of there why we were building the manure baskets of which I don't actually see branch pile let's move the branch pile let's unpack it down here that's Hats off to the devs for this. This is an amazing idea because what we can now do is like the work zone. If the work zone gets replaced by a workbench down the road, whether it's a workbench or a smithy or whatever it is, we can now pack this up, store it 
and then if something happens like a fire in our we lose our original building, we can just unpack that. Hats off. Hopefully we have vertical storage at some point in time as well so that we can store larger quantities in an area, kind of like you've got here where you can store six. So hopefully you've got something like shelves or something coming for these zones to make it even better. But I, I may be getting ahead of myself. This is still a tutorial. All right, let's look. Our rocks are good. I think that might be enough. And let's go ahead and unpause it. I have to watch that. Click in the menu, pauses it. Might have to take a look and see if that's a setting somewhere. Most of the time, I only look for settings that are, are relevant to what I need at the time. <laughs> Typical gamer, you know, I'm, I only look for the things that I want. Uh, let's queue up 10 charcoal and we already have 19 there, so that should work. Got more clay tiles going. Now, this is enough to build five sections of floor. I don't want to start building floor until this building is 100%. And then I want to start with the next area, but it, and I want to cover this as well. So, kind of thinking to that, if what I was seeing is right with the construction, we're going to have to figure out a actual condition for the the roof as the only two roofs I have are hay and stone if this doesn't fill out more than two I'm gonna have to place a wall in here I don't know where to place it yet we'll we'll evaluate that once this is done thinking too much about the future all right let's go ahead and set this one to just tile and once he Jason finishes this one we'll set it to just brick so that we're not littering up the whole neighborhood yeah, I'm thinking a barn at some point in time. Just a nice storage area that... Because this just won't cut it in the long run. Just a nice storage area for all of our different crafting. And now that this one is on tile, let's go ahead and set this one to brick. Looks like they're starting to clean up for the night. As, uh, looks like the uh, evening of day four... Liking what I'm seeing. Oh, yeah, taking care of that uh, actual uh, kit. And let's go ahead and move this one since we have no branches. Yeah, let's go ahead and store it to move it. In my inventory. Could have swore that I made a basket. Maybe I thought I made it. Let's go ahead and queue up a couple so we can start taking care of things. And let's move that branch stockpile down. Yeah, unpack in place. We'll unpack it right here. Oh, they must have moved it and it still has to assemble. That would make sense. Are we missing anything? We've got the coal. Because I think it only takes 10. Yeah, just uh, probably actually... Oh, look at that. We're out of clay. We've got... No, we've got clay on the shore. They just haven't moved it yet. I need more people. Flat out and simply, I need more people. Let's go ahead and tell the flak to not be in here so that we've got a little bit more storage. And what is the charcoal all right let's uh let's tell the flak not to be here and the charcoal that way they both should queue into here let's go ahead and deselect tile and brick and iron ore and log and clay that way it pushes everything kind of into this area then we'll reevaluate some of the other things let's do wood ash as well we'll keep it in here crates yeah yeah we might as well just send everything down to the general to be honest Toggle all off. Yeah, let's toggle all off. Oops. Pressing the escape even in menus doesn't close out the menu. It uh, brings up the actual... The... 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 The actual game pause. Eric, it's, it's like evening. Why are you... Oh, are you going to eat something? Is that what you're doing? Because your food is ultimately low. Yeah, eating. 
See, this is what happens. You guys harvest all these berries and you put them out there. Look at that. The quality is really low. All these berries are going to spoil tonight. So we're going to have to find a home for that. Look at that. Our, uh, our road's starting to clear in. Now, I don't know if that was that building that road was a good idea. I think long term it's going to be a good idea. But at the same time, short term, it might not be a good idea. We'll, we'll keep an eye on it. I we, we don't know how long if 10 days is summer, 10 days is fall, 10 days is winter. I'm making an assumption because the demo is 10 days. If 10 days is fall, hopefully that means we'll have enough time to prep for winter. And so building a road now would just mean we're ready for the spring. Just kind of me thinking out loud. Uh, but I think this is, as we're wrapping up night four, I think this is a good spot to call this episode. I'd like to thank you guys for joining. And in the next episode, I think we're going to get into some actual iron, uh, hopefully tools, as well as hopefully finish this house. This is taking a little bit longer than I'd like. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that there is just so much to do in this game that it's easy to overwork your people. Uh, huge shout out to the devs. Thanks you for watching. We will uh, see you guys in the next episode where we will continue on this fun. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>